Welcome to a brand new program from El Paso Independent School District on music. And the name of it is Musical Menagerie. And we'll be covering all kinds of different things in music, instruments and singing, and all kinds of things that students can enjoy at elementary school. My name is Mary Jane Mouse. Mrs. Mouse, those of you know me, might have seen me at your school. And I drive a big music van called Mobile Melodies. And I've been to many, many schools, not all of them yet, so some of you may be used to some of the things we're doing already. Today's show, I've got invited some students to help me out, and we're going to be talking about rhythm and beat. So I'm going to introduce my students that are helping me out, and they're from Park Elementary School today. So we'll move over to our students. And uh, my first student is Kati. Kati, can you kind of wave and wiggle? Let us know which one we are. <laughs> Now, Kati, uh, tell us a little bit about what you're wearing. Where is that outfit from? Africa. And where did you get it? My dad. Well, why would your dad get it? He went to Africa. He went to Africa. Is he also from Africa? Yes. Good. Well, we'd like to know a little bit more about you. Could you tell us something special that you'd like to share with us about yourself? I like to play with American Girl dolls. You play with the American Girl dolls? How many do you have? Three. Three? Which ones do you have? I know some other children out, out in our audience also have some. I have Kit, Addie, and Kaya. Kit, Addie, and Kaya. And how many more would you like to get? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> oh, well that's good. I hope you get them because they're beautiful collector, collector dolls. And our, our another student that we have is Luis. And we'll go over to him. Now, Luis, you're dressed up with a nice vest and a hat, and, and where are you kind of representing? What part of the world are you representing? I'm representing uh, Mexico. Mexico. And uh, what would you like to share with us about yourself, Luis? I caught a fish with my bare hands. How'd you catch a fish with your bare hands? Well, the fish were just jumping, so I just caught one. There must have been a lot of them, huh? Yes. What Did, did it stay in your hands? Uh, yeah. Did you cook it and eat it? Yes. Oh, well we good. Then, then you don't even need a fishing rod to go fishing, huh? No. Good. Another wonderful student that we have with us today is Rebecca. And Rebecca has a beautiful outfit from Korea. And that is a country that her mother is from. Now, Rebecca, what would you like to tell us about yourself? Well, my family and I like to travel. And last year we went to Germany, Switzerland, and France all in one day. Germany, Switzerland, and France all in one day? Were you driving? Um, yeah. Which, did you have a favorite one of those three places? Um, I like Switzerland the best. Why did you like Switzerland the best? Um, I like the way their culture is. The culture is? Oh, do they have so, is there beautiful scenery too? Yeah. Good. And we have one more student helping us out, and she's got a beautiful green outfit on, Megan. And Megan, tell us where you're supposed to be representing. What country? Ireland. Ireland. And can you tell us something about yourself today? I like to read. You like to read? Mm -hmm. And do you have a favorite book? Well, not really. Not a favorite one? What mm -hmm. book are you reading now? Little Women. Do you get AR points at your school? Mm -hmm. Do you have a bunch of those points right now? Yes. How many? 100.1. Good for you. You keep up that reading. Well, now we're going to get on to the rest of our program, and we're going to talk a little bit about beat. And how many of you all listen to music on CDs and radios? How many of you all do that? Do you listen to music on the radios? Yeah. And do you sometimes start maybe snapping your fingers? Well, what other things do you do maybe when you're listening to your favorite song besides snap your fingers? Might you maybe drum on something? What else? Maybe move your head? in and out, those kinds of things. Well, everybody does those kinds of things sometimes with their favorite song. And that part where you're snapping or you feel like snapping or tapping your toes or tapping on the table or moving your arms and shoulders, that's part of the beat of music. And we're going to do a little bit of practicing the beat ourselves. The beat is the recurring steady pulse, which is the basic unit of length in music. And all songs have beat. They all have a pattern. They might be different. Some might be fast. Some might be slow. Now let's see if we can do a few things just to find some beat. Now first thing we could do is just try to snap our fingers. That's something everybody's going to do. And just keep a steady pace. Let's try to do that together. We'll just snap fingers. Snap, snap, 
That would be a steady, steady, steady pace. We could also clap, so we could do that. We could move our shoulders up and down, so up, down, up, down. Could you click your tongue too? And could you tip your head from side to side? Side to side, side to side, side. And maybe you could thump your fingers on your little wood block or your desk if you're in the classroom. Just thump, 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 thump. And if you want to really move funny, you could move like a chicken and move those elbows and arms in and out, in and out. Well, we're going to have a little fun with some beat and some music. I'm going to be talking about the different beats in different countries and music from those countries or continents. And we'll learn a little bit about the world and we'll learn a little bit about some different music from different places. And as you watch, we're going to watch a little bit about each country, just finding it on a map where it is located. If you have a classroom map that you'd like to look at, you may certainly do that. Those, those of you that don't have a map, you can look at the TV screen and we're going to be having a little uh, demonstration with some photographs. And the first place we're going to talk about is Africa. Now Africa is not a country, it's a large continent. And one of the countries that I have some music from is Sudan. And Sudan is one of the countries and it has the Nile River flowing through it. Nile River is the largest river in the world, over 4,000 miles long. And you all can see some of the animals and creatures and different scenery that you might see. Africa has deserts and it has jungles, all kinds of different things. Wonderful music. Now, let's, see, let's just listen to that music. And everybody at your classroom and here in the audience, let's just try to, to snap our fingers and see if you can find the beat of this music. We're going to just listen to the music and look at the video and snap fingers. Was that hard to find that beat? No. Not hard at all. Good. Now, another country that we, uh, is very, very important uh, is one of the Asian countries, and that is China. Uh, in China, they have a very, very large wall called the Great Wall, and it's over 2,000 miles long in its largest part. And it ha it's the only man-made structure that we can see from outer space. Now in uh, China, the Great Wall is about 2,400 years old. So it's pretty, pretty old. Very old. And we're going to try to listen to some of the music there. The capital city there is Beijing. Now on this one, let's click our tongue. This makes me want to click the tongue. Was that very hard to find that one? No. no, pretty easy. You can find that, that those two, two areas of the world have an easy way to find the music a beat. And another uh, place in our world where we have uh, a lot of music that we're used to listening to more here in El Paso because we're so close to Mexico is Cuba. And Cuba is an island in the Caribbean Sea and it's south of Florida. And the capital of Cuba is Havana. Now that's just one of many countries where the predominant language is some form of Spanish. One interesting thing I found out about Cuba is they have a special boa snake there that's over 12 feet long. That's how it normally grows. That's kind of an interesting fact I learned about Cuba while uh, reading about that. We have many famous people from Cuba. Let's, this time, let's try to move our arms like a chicken when we hear this beat. Can you add a little bit of shoulder action there? Good. Good. This one makes me want to dance. I'm just used to it. I love that. Good. Now here's another place in the world that we're going to talk about, which is India. Now a lot of that music is very different to our ears, and we might not be used to hearing it as much. India is quite an interesting country. There are many different languages spoken in India, not just one. The capital is New Delhi, and there's a beautiful, beautiful building in India 
it's a very large building called the Taj Mahal. And it is uh, a special because it was built by one of the rulers of India after his wife died in the year 1631. It took 20,000 people to build that uh, beautiful structure. It's beautiful. Now we'll look at some of these. Now that is an interesting instrument called the sitar in the background that you hear. Now on this one, let's try to see if we can clap our hands with this particular beat. This is a harder one to get. Ready? Go! This one throws us off a little bit. It's just a little bit different than what we're used to. Good! Good! A neat thing about India, it's also known for beautiful materials. There's that Taj Mahal. Beautiful building. Good! You had no trouble. I thought it would give you a little bit of trouble finding the beat for India, but you guys didn't have any trouble at all. Now one other place, and this is just one of many other places we could have gone, one other country is Ireland. And Ireland is off the coast of Europe. And it's not a very big country, but it's a very beautiful country. And the capital of Ireland is Dublin. And in Ireland, lots of times we think in, in St. Patrick's Day, we think of shamrocks and those kinds of things and leprechauns. So Ireland is sometimes thought of for that. And the Blarney Stone, the legend of the Blarney Stone is in Blarney Castle in Ireland. Supposedly, if you kiss that stone, you'll be able to throw words around and get people to agree with you, even if you say silly stuff. That would be hard to imagine, somebody saying silly stuff. On this one, can you guys try to tap your feet together and maybe you at your desk can tap against your desk with your feet though. Or tap against your block. I'm going to tap mine against the, my, my uh, uh, counter. Do you like that music? Mm -hmm. Some of you might have heard River Dance, that show, or seen that show. And this is similar to some music in that. Does it make you want to dance a little bit? Yes. Yeah, good. There's some beautiful things. Ireland also has many uh, sheep in there, and they are well known for making beautiful wools and things like that. Beautiful music, too. Wonderful talent. Well, you guys had no trouble at all finding the beat. That was easy. Now I'm going to ask you to look for something else called your body beat. And I'm talking about your heart. And how am I going to find my body beat if I'm not a doctor and I don't have a stethoscope? Well, what am I going to do? Tell me. You, you could look at right in your arm. On your arm, maybe your wrist, and check your pulse, right? Yeah. Where else? What else can you do? Well, tell um, me. Your neck. On your neck. Mm -hmm. Would it be way back here on the side, way back on the side? Yeah. Where, show me, where would we, I look for it? Right there. Kind of touching my jaw? Um, and then maybe kind of coming down? Not on the very front, that would be your trachea. You don't want that. Just kind of on the side would be a good place to feel it. And you're going to want to notice how that heart is pumping blood through your body. Do you know your, your heart can pump up to 1.6 million gallons of blood in a whole year? That's how much blood your body could be having pumped by your heart. That's enough to fill about 200 tank cars. That's a lot, huh? Now I want you to check. I'm going to check my own. Uh, pulse or steady heartbeat and you check yours too. I'm going to start snapping when I can figure out mine. You guys can snap or tap on your blog or those of you at, in, in your classrooms you can tap on your desk if you, if you don't feel like your snapper works very good. This is mine. I'm going to check mine. Are you guys finding your pulse over there? Mm -hmm. I can't find it. You can't find it? You know what? You're not the only one, I bet, that can't find it. You, you know, you'll have better luck, I think, if you come up by your neck. I even had one person that checked down at the small of their I neck, too. I feel it. So you might want to check right down there, too. Now, did you guys check and got your pulse? It's not all that fast, is it? But it's even. It's steady. That's what we were saying. That beat is that steady pulse that we just heard in the music. But you know what? I'm getting tired of this. It's too slow. We want to make it faster. Now, how can you get your body beat going faster? You Tell me. You can dance 
Dance, uh huh. You could play um, uh, an instrument. You could play an instrument. What else? Anything you can else? Run. Can run. Do any kind of exercise. Is there anything you can do to get the beat faster that's not running and not exercise? A uh, read. Read? Do you think you're really going to get faster by reading? Will the uh, beat get faster? You can get nervous sometimes. <gasps> get nervous. That's it. Get nervous. Now what we're going to do right now, we're going to get up. So everybody in the classroom, you may get up out of your seat. And my students here, get up off those blocks. We need to move now. We're going to do some actions to the music that we listen to, to the beat. If I ask you to clap, you'll clap. If I ask you to jump, you'll jump. If I ask you to jive, you're going to cross hands over like this. If I ask you to wave, you can do this. If I ask you to wiggle, you can wiggle any way you want. If I ask you to do the chicken, then I want you to move your arms like a chicken. Or if I want you to knock your knees together, I'll say knocking knees. Can you get those knees going really good? Or shoulders up and down. And we're ready to move. Just keep going to the beat and do whatever I say and we're ready for our song. We'll get ready to listen. We gotta move. Now is that one gonna be something we're gonna move to very fast with our beat? No. No, that one's kinda slow, isn't it? That's just kinda slow. Well, we want one to move a little bit more. Like maybe Splish Splash? Yeah. That's an oldie, but it's a lot of fun. I like that song. But you know what? I liked how you were moving your arms. Ready? Now let's just do our shoulders. Good. Can you wiggle? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Chicken, chicken, chicken. And shoulders. Put your tongue. Can you knock your knees together? Knees together. Out. Knee. In, out, in. Get those knees, feet, good. Can you jump, jump, good. On one foot, hop, hop, good. Now jive, get those hands going, good. Now wave, wave. Are there other ways to wave? How else can you wave? Can you wiggle, maybe like this, good. Now I'm gonna ask you to do two things at the same time. Jive and head sideways. Can you do it? Good. Now can you swim? Good. And click your tongue at the same time. How many backwards? Good. And wiggle like the chicken. Wiggle and chicken. That's going to be a little harder to wiggle and chicken. Good. Can you hop on one foot? And clap. Other foot. Good. Now head up, down, up, down, up, down. And jive. Up, down, up, down. Jiving and up, down. That's getting me mixed up and dizzy. Is that doing it to you too? <laughs> be careful you don't fall down. You want to be careful in the classroom too. You've got the idea. Now your heartbeat should be faster now. Just check real quick. If it's faster. This is mine now. Is yours faster? You can clap your hands to yours, whatever you thought it was. Is it faster this time? Mm -hmm. oh, you can do the chicken to it. <laughs> you can choose anyway. Now, guess what? You just changed your body tempo. Your body tempo was different by moving, or we could make it slow again by sitting or sleeping. And music has tempo. The basic speed of the song, could be slow, moderate, or fast, is the tempo in music. And if it has kind of a slow beat, we'd say it has a slow tempo. A little bit faster beat, we'd say it has a faster tempo, and so on, all the different speeds. Now, I want you guys, for the moment, to try to have a seat back at your desk, those of you in the classroom and those of you here, have a seat at your desk. And we're going to listen to two quick songs that have different tempos. And you're going to try to see if you can find that tempo just by listening. And this time, let's have our um, head side to side when you think you know what the beat is.
you heard this music before? Yes. Where? Oh, really? Do you know a cartoon name that you see it? Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny? Okay. This is from Carmen, the opera. Would you say it's very fast? No. no. Seems kind of slow. Kind of slow tempo, right. Can you get your shoulders in there, too? I like to dance. Good. Now, that one was kind of slow. Now, we'll hear a different song, and you let me know what you think about this one. And this time, you can keep the beat any way you want. You get to choose. Click your tongue, snack your fingers, do your chicken wiggle anyway, or even your feet moving. Okay. <laughs> oh, what do you think about that one? Yeah? Good. What would you say about that piece? What do you think? Fast. Does it make you want to dance? Yes. I noticed a lot more foot action with you. I'm wondering if the kids in the classroom did the same thing. That one's called the Hungarian Dance. And it's by Brahms. And it was faster. That's two different tempos in music. Now we get to do something even more fun. Now I like the beat. That's fun. That's real nice. But guess what? I get kind of bored with that. And I like to do something called rhythm. And rhythm is the pattern of sound and silence in music. And it can have short sounds, very quick sounds. You can have longer or slower sounds. Or you can even have time where there's no sound. So I could tap, tap, and then rest, tap, tap, and then rest. We're going to use our hands and do some tapping on our legs and uh, clapping and snapping together just to do a beat first. And then I'm going to change it to a rhythm and see if you all can catch what I did differently. All right? Mm -hmm. OK. We're all together going to tap the beat. And we're going to go two times on the leg two times together, and two snaps. So it'll be one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. That's an even beat, right? Nothing different. Let me see if you can see what I do. What did I do? I see a big grin, Kati tells me. <laughs> you um, only did one snap? I only did one snap. That changed. That snap, we could say it lasts longer, or we just left one out, didn't we? Either one. Very good. Now, here's another way I can make it a rhythm. Watch this one. See if you guys can catch me on this one. I'm going to start with my beat first. One, two, one, two, one, two. Now I'm getting ready to fix it. I'm changing it to a rhythm. <laughs> what did I do different that time? Um, yeah. You did it? Three claps. I did three Fast. claps in the middle. They were faster, weren't they, huh? Yes. Yeah. So you can do that. Now here's another one. One more. Let me see if you can catch this one. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that big grin, Rebecca. Rebecca, what did I do different there? You didn't clap and you... I didn't clap at all, did I? I gave myself a rest, didn't I? Right? Yeah. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to pass out some instruments and let you do a little beat, a little rhythm, and then we'll end with a great song. Now, Megan, I think you should pass out some instruments first. Let's go ahead and let uh, Rebecca have the gong. The gong is from uh, a good Asian instrument. Since she's from Korea, we'll just let her have the gong, and she can play that. And let's give Kati the akotsi. And the akotsi is that large gourd from Africa that has the nice beads on the outside. And how about Luis would like the maracas? Luis, that's a fun one representing the Latin American countries. And I'm going to let you have an Irish instrument. It's another kind of drum, but it's called the bodrin. And do you know how to play that, Megan? Mm, I think so. All right, could you show us how you think you play that one? Mm. Kind of like that. If you'll just turn your hand. Um, that way, yeah, and you kind of, you can hold it with your left hand, mm -hmm. and then maybe this with your right hand like that. All right, mm -hmm. good. That's okay. We're always learning a new instrument. Now, what I'm going to have you do, I'm going to tap something, and you're going to copy me, okay? Only mm -hmm. if it's a rhythm. If I tap a beat, remember, a beat is steady. If I tap a beat, you and the audience too, 
You can do this at your desk with a pencil or, or a ruler or anything. But if I tap a beat, you don't copy me. Right. If I tap a rhythm, remember rhythms can have short sounds, long sounds, then you try to copy me. All right? Ready? Oh, good. I didn't catch up. That was a beat. Good, because it was one, two, three, with a little pause, four, five, right? Good. Here's another one. Let's see if you can get this one. Now you. Oh, good. Very good. Now, that was definitely a rhythm. Now, here's another one. That's a tricky one, isn't it? You're right, it is a rhythm. What's in it that makes it a rhythm? A uh, rest. That's right. We do one, two. Right? Very good. Now I think we're ready for a song to do. And what we're going to do with our song, you're going to tap a steady beat. And you know what, Rebecca? I think we might need another instrument because the gong rings a little bit long. So Megan, would you get her the other drum? That happens to be a congo drum. And on this next song, and everyone in the classroom can do the same thing, it's a fun song. I'm going to go ahead and use some clavis, and I'm going to have all of us together, when the song is being played, we're going to tap a regular steady beat for part of it, the weem away part. <laughs> then when you hear the singer, we'll try to tap his words. That would be the rhythm of his words, because we speak in rhythm too. We don't speak like a robot. <laughs> now, if you want to add a little shoulder action or anything as you do your instrument, that's fine. First we do the beat. When the man sings, we'll try to do the rhythm. Okay? Mm -hmm. right. Ready? Let's get ready. Oh, I think I'm ready for that. Oh, I like that fancy action. Can your voice do that too?